Hey guys, so 2018 is almost over with and 2019 is on the horizon. And what does that mean? We are going to get new music. Yes. And I'm really stoked for new music from Vampire Weekend. It has been a while since Vampire Weekend has done some new music. So I cannot wait for the new album, which is coming out December of 2019. When they first announced it was coming out December of 2019, my heart sank a bit because that's a long time. But seeing how fast the months have gone by, 2019 of December will be here before you know it. Now, there is no real title for this album. Ezra kind of joked on Instagram saying the title of this album was Mitsubishi Macchiato. But honestly, we don't have a real name for this album. And we haven't even gotten a single yet. So, I'm really stoked for new Vampire Weekend music. And it's going to be a really interesting album because Ronstam is no longer a part of Vampire Weekend. He did, however, do a solo album, which I listened to. It was okay. Wasn't a really big fan of it. But yeah, it's going to be a really interesting album without Ron Stone. However, I'm really excited for it. And with this album, we're going to get a tour. And of course, I'm going to drag my sister to this concert because... I promised her the last two times when I saw Vampire Weekend that I was going to take her to see him, and I never did. So the third time is the charm, and I'm taking her or my boyfriend to see Vampire Weekend. One of them is going with me because I don't want to go alone this time. I want them to experience the awesomeness that is Vampire Weekend. So yep, that's going to happen. And of course, you know, I'm going to buy the CD, the tape, the record. I'm going to buy all formats of this album. So, I just want to say also thank you to everyone who's been nice to me over the past two years of me being within the vinyl community. I have met so many wonderful people through the vinyl community and... I appreciate each and every one of you who have taken your time to send me some VCLT. I'm really appreciative of that. You guys are such wonderful, kind people, and thank you. Now, I've learned some important things within the vinyl community as well. Not everyone within a vinyl community is going to stay your friends. But you will always end up meeting new people who will become your friends. So at the end of the day, just focus on the positive things within the vinyl community and just be true to yourself and don't change for anybody within the vinyl community. Be you. That's an important lesson I've learned. Just be you. And those who love you for being you are going to stick for you. I mean, stick with you. And those who don't, well, it's their loss. Also, I've been looking into record storage, customizable record storage. And I've been looking on Instagram and I saw that there are some people within the Los Angeles area that are making customizable record storage. But then I realized that customizable record storage can cost a pretty penny. So, I think I'm just going to stick to Walmart or Ikea when it comes to storage because those are very affordable storage. And personally, I think if you're starting out with record collecting and you need some affordable storage, Ikea and Walmart are great options. Also, I forgot to mention Target as well. And I have a Target near where I live, so... Target's also a great affordable storage because I love my Kylix shelf, but I got two 
spaces left within my shelf and I am running out of space. So that is something that might be happening in the near future. Me buying more record stores. And of course my boyfriend, he calls me obsessive in a good way. So he's willing to take me to Ikea, Walmart, or Target to get me some more record storage in. Even though I don't have space for more record storage, I will figure out something. I will figure out something because I always seem to figure out things when it comes to record storage. Yeah, we'll figure out something. Also want to point out that I've been a good person. I haven't bought a record in two weeks. I know. Usually I have an end of the year record haul, but... I decided to save my money on other stuff. But 2019 is going to be the year where I discover a bunch of newer music and add a bunch of newer artists to my record collection. Because while older music is great, and I love older music, I also love newer music as well. And I always say don't fear newer music because there are a lot of good stuff within the newer genre of music. And I feel like some people, they just stick to older genres of music and they really don't expand their music taste. They just listen to a certain decade and that's that, or a certain genre of music. I'm just saying, it's okay to open your horizons when it comes to music and listen to a bunch of different genres of music. You'll be surprised. There are some really good artists within the newer genre of music. I'm not even kidding. And also, before I end this video, that new Miley Cyrus song with Mark Ronson has been stuck in my head and it's been on repeat. I'm not even a Miley Cyrus fan, but I love it. Yeah. It's called... Something with the heart. I don't remember the title of it, but I will link it in the description box. If you guys are curious to listen to it, you should. It's got that kind of country pop twang. And now, lastly, I've been listening to everything Queen. I have no regrets. Radio Gaga has been played over and over again, as well as Bohemian Rhapsody. Ever since I saw that Bohemian Rhapsody movie, I've been watching every live performance of Queen. I've been listening to everything Queen. And now I want to get Queen within my record collection. But I'm having a bit of a problem. And you know what that is? Queen records are going for a lot of money online. Ever since the movie has been released, I can't seem to find a lot of Queen records for decent prices. And the one Queen record that I want the most is Night at the Opera. I really want that record. But I'm not willing to spend the crazy amount that people on eBay are charging for that record. So, um, I'm on the hunt for it. I'm on the hunt for that record and a bunch of other Queen records. And I'm pretty sure that Bohemian Rhapsody movie... Is the reason why a lot more people are into Queen, which I am really happy about. But also, I've noticed that there are a lot of videos on YouTube of people talking about their first ever time listening to Queen. And I'm sitting here saying to myself, seriously? What rock are you living under? And why have you not listened to Queen ever? And did your parents not raise you on cool music? Seriously, if you are watching this video, get out from under your rock, listen to some Queen, listen to some classic rock, listen to your dad's music. Really, get out there, expand your music, listen to Queen. That is my tip for you for 2018. Listen to Queen. You will not regret it. And Freddie Mercury will thank you from heaven. That's right. 
because Freddie Mercury is sassy in heaven and he wants everybody to listen to Queen. True story. So I'm going to end this video. Peace, love, and grooviness, guys. I had a lot to talk about today and I appreciate every one of you out there. You guys are the best and keep being the best in 2019. Bye, guys.